nice win, um, you know, winning at home. Um, after two road uh, events, it's, it's always nice. I, uh, I told, I reminded our staff and our team, I don't want us ever after a win to feel relieved. I think we are at that point in our uh, program, you know, everybody expects us to win, not just win, but they want us to win 3-0. Uh, and this was a tough, challenging match. We knew that. Uh, we knew that Kent State's uh, record does not reflect how good they can play volleyball, and they showed tonight. Uh, we, you know, we prepared the team saying that uh, every opponent who comes, let's treat it like it's 0-0. We're, it's a new season, it's a new opportunity for us to um, show that we learned some lessons pr from the previous matches, that we got better uh, because of the practices that we had. Lauren mentioned, just mentioned, uh, we worked on her serving at uh, set points. Uh, she was making some errors and, uh, uh, you know, I told them it's, it's not a pressure situation, it's an opportunity. You want to be behind the serving line on a set point, on a match point, and it was great to see her today finish with an ace, uh, the match point. Um, uh, Avery Anders also um, was struggling with some uh, inconsistency with serving, and she did great today uh, because of the practices that we had and uh, commitment and extra reps that our players do, and th those are things we need to celebrate. You know, the outcome is great. We, we love to win. But what I see, the part of the process, are we getting better? Uh, there are areas we're going to address. Uh, not everything was perfect, but we are finding ways to win. And that's a good sign of a maturity of a team. Uh, no matter how much are we behind, um, it's just we keep composure. And the first set was like that. The third set, we were behind. Um, but we just kind of let the next point uh, resetting and uh, executing when it matters. And uh, we didn't do that a couple of weeks ago. We did it today. So I think we, look, we need to look uh, at those things and celebrate uh, um, that process instead of just looking at the score and, uh, you know, what was the margin of, of the win. So um, that's, that's kind of the summary of what happened today. Obviously, you guys will play Kent State tomorrow. Just talk about, you know, how you guys are going to keep up this momentum. And, you know, it kind of looked like at the end of set three there that, you know, Kent State was trying to force another set there. But just talk about how you guys just came back and how you're going to keep up that momentum tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow is a new uh, new day, um, new match. Uh, I think one of the things we, we need to do better, we'll, we'll talk again. And it was part of our game plan today uh, to win in transition. Uh, we didn't do that consistently well. Uh, I know the second set, we didn't hit our um, side out uh, um, goal that we have, uh, but it was more us not playing the full rally. Uh, we were kind of, at the end, if it wasn't a first ball kill or a first ball point score, uh, we were getting caught in between. We were not being disciplined going back to the base, uh, being disciplined in defense. Our blockers were a little bit off. So we need to tighten up those things that we know how to do, uh, focus again on, on, on the process that uh, makes us good and execute the game plan. Um, nothing is going to change. Kent State did exactly what we thought they were going to do. There were no surprises. It's us not executing on our um, side of the net. Um, when we started battering the ball, when we started controlling, dictating a little bit more, they, they were part of the games that we were just reacting. Uh, Kent State was dictating. Um, it wasn't going well. So uh, the team always responds when we talk about those things and changes and adaptations uh, during timeouts. Um, so that's what um, I think we're going to see tomorrow, a little bit better execution of the game plan. Kent State's record doesn't reflect how good they are. How do you keep your team from overlooking them as a MAC opponent? Yeah, we, we don't look, uh, overlook anybody. To me, it's, uh, it's a matter of respect. Uh, I think uh, our opponents deserve our best. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, we talk a lot about uh, competing against our standard. We have uh, some uh, st statistical benchmarks that we try to hit every match. Uh, but it's more about are we, again, getting better? Are we closing the gap from who we were yesterday as a team to that perfect game that we will never play? That's kind of our goal. We have our standards. How do we do things on our side of the net? Uh, we don't have a control what the opponent is going to do, but uh, we can control how we better the ball. Are we playing uh, each rally uh, from the beginning 
you know, till the end. Uh, uh, you know, you take a little break after the whistle, between the whistles, I guess. And uh, are we playing together? Are we bettering each other? Are we playing smart volleyball? That's another thing. You know, I had to talk to some players. We talk about if then. Uh, this is the situation that's given to you. There is an optimal move. You know, sometimes our hitters go for a shot that it's not there. Uh, if they didn't drive to the ball, but they're trying to hit uh, the ball, uh, you know, that it's not there, that's on them. So th those are the things that, again, we focus on. But when it comes to uh, um, our opponents, we, we respect everybody. It's, it's uh, those girls, uh, the Kent State girls practice hard, work hard. They go to school. Uh, they're trying, again, to do the best that they can. And uh, we need them to be the best version of ourselves. That's what competition is. Uh, our team knows the root of the word competition is Latin competere, striving together. We need Kent State to play the best volleyball for us to be our best. And uh, uh, I, I don't know what their coach is going to say, but uh, they, they made us better tonight. And, and uh, I hope they bring, they, they play even better to, tomorrow night because that's going to make us better. And Amanda Odd had a couple of timely dunks. How did, was that something you saw in practice, or was that something you trust her to do on her own? Yeah, uh, that's, that's part of uh, Amanda's toolbox. Uh, we are working on developing her as a setter who's going to be an offensive threat. Uh, um, she actually didn't do as much today as uh, uh, you will eventually, we hope, uh, to see. Uh, that's also dependent on uh, the quality of the first contact of service Eve or, or the quality of our digs. But with Amanda you know, being 6'3 and the ability that she has, uh, She's going to be a setter that uh, the opposing defense will have to treat as one of the hitters. That's what we are working towards, too. And uh, um, I think that's going to be part of her game that um, our fans will like to see develop even more. And then, Coach, last thing. I want to give you the opportunity to talk about your shirt tonight and the on-court recognition beforehand. Thank you. So clap. Fist bump. Woo! So this is uh, thank you, Kyle, for asking that. Um, we are. Um, working or trying to bring the awareness to the Invincible um, Foundation that our friend Scott uh, Van Alman has started uh, after his uh, son Vince uh, was diagnosed with cancer. And um, it's, it's something that um, we, we've done um, awareness of pediatric cancer for years. So this is just somebody who we know personally. And uh, uh, I hope that all of our fans who are watching this press conference, who saw our team uh, wear these uh, beautiful orange t-shirts during warm up to go and check uh, the Invincible Foundation and uh, maybe uh, support with a monetary donation. They're doing some great work helping families who are going through the hardest probably time that anybody can imagine. Um, uh, so uh, clap fist, pump, woo! I don't know if I'm doing it the justice, but our team has done a great job. So um, just supporting great cause. Uh, you know, our, our team, our athletes have a great, great platform as Division I athletes that they can uh, be a positive change in the world. Uh, the ripple effect that we can create, uh, just letting people know that there are people like Scott Van Alman and, and many others who are doing great work. And we can do our part to support them. So uh, it was a privilege for us to do that tonight. Uh, Lauren, first off, great job tonight. Uh, just, you know, despite the fact that it was a dominating performance, you know, there was couple of times where you guys were kind of going back and forth with each other, but just talk about, you know, what it means to get such a dominating win uh, at, against a MAC opponent team. Mm -hmm. um, well, the MAC this year is very competitive, uh, and that's how we like it. Um, so just getting another win, it is nice in the moment, but also we know that it doesn't really mean anything because we're going to come back tomorrow and play the same team. So uh, just continuing to play the best we can play and just be ourselves. Third set, you dug that deep and really came back to win that one. What does that really show about the mentality of this team? Um, I think it demonstrates our perseverance and our grit. Um, in practices, we strive to create an environment um, where we're put in difficult situations. Um, and that helps us in games uh, be mentally tough and just pull through. And then capping off that comeback in the third set, getting an ace to finish off the match. Can you just talk about the excitement of ending a match in that fashion? Um, this past week in practices, or I guess last weekend, um, I had missed my serve on 24 in a couple games. So uh, we did pressure serving, and 
I was able to just go back on the line and be confident in myself and in my abilities. Um, and I knew that my team also had my back, whatever happened. So it gave me the confidence to just do what I could do.